Well, welcome to part three of RSS iPad feeder. I nearly said RS iPad feeder, but now we're going to have a look at more details of the code. Um, if you've seen part one and part two, then you're going to be on the edge of your seat dying to look at uh, code. So let's start off with looking at um, some of the code I'm using. Um, we're using um, an NXML parser delegate which fetches the RSS feed and um, in case you know a parser is a digital form of parsnip. Um, then we're going to use um, is loading and is dragging which are bools which sounds like a French game and again it's a digital game called a boolean. Um, it just means true or false, yes or no, naught or one or minus one if you're in C, something like that. It's a bool. Another one, this very interesting one here, is a, a mutable array. Now that is uh, an array, but it's mutable. I've got a picture of the symbol of one here. That's a mutable ar array. And uh, um, it, mutable basically means changeable. We've also got a mutable dictionary. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what one of those looks like. And we got our good friend at the string. Now I got here, that's a string. So it's a digital form of string. And, uh, oh, we got a mutable string. Now if you go into Google and uh, look up images for mutable string, you come up with this. Well, it looks like a garbage collector to me. Now I must admit, I started with the Master View controller template, Master Detail template, which is that thing. And I just really changed these two methods, the master view controller and the detail view controller. Um, the way I did it was I kind of cheated because I've already done an RSS feed in an iPhone. And for that I changed the detail view controller and the master view controller. I ba basically added more methods and took a few out. Prepare for segue I used in the iPhone. but. In the iPad, it doesn't have to use did select for that. But I basically looked at my iPhone methods and thought, which of those can I put into my, oh, what's that? St stopping something. Which of those can I put into my iPad? So that's, that's how I did it, actually. So let's just um, scroll through, see. Uh, await from nib, we don't need that. We could take that out, probably. Um, did load. I put quite a few things in did load, and then and then I use this parser stuff, which is a special class, ns XML parser, which is basically getting the data out of an R RSS feed. Is it R's again? Uh, <laughs> out of a, an RSS feed. Uh, so you got parse, which is, I just explained what a parse is a digital form of uh, parsnip. And uh, there's quite a few of those. Did load, didn't load, finished loading, um, forgot loading, error occurred. There's a lot of those parser stuff that I just actually copy-pasted in. And there's, I'm getting the item, the title, and the link using um, that code there. So I can't go through it more slowly, but uh, it'll take me a long time. So there's a lot of XML pass. Did end document, which is another XML parser thing. Did select row. That bit of code there is what takes the link reference, which is actually a string. I got it out of um, stories somewhere and uh, turned it into that. There, there, stories is an array. And you get that particular object link out of that and pass that through to the detail item. If you remember, the detail item is the web view in its own uh, view controller. So, um, so I'm sure you could do the same thing. If you're, <laughs> you'll be able to um, sort out and just, just put extra methods in and take a couple of methods out of that. And the detail control. Let's have a look at that. Um, that's not too difficult. I, again, I got my mutable array. That's getting the stories from the popover, and this stringy thing, which is the uh, I think it's the URL we want that one. And then when, when we go into the code of that, the one of the main things is the detail item. Now this detail item is very important because that is what pass, is passed from the RIS feed 
is the object that's passed to your um, view controller. So that's a very important one that and as you can see I'm, uh, I had to trim it down, I had to apply lots of methods to it one of them is a bit of a, a warning well I, I, haven't take, I don't take warnings out until the end, I haven't bothered to do it so I've only finished it yesterday so and then uh, in this particular one I'm loading um, in a new window if we just change that around then it'll load in its um, in 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 app let's just get it started and show you that simulator up it comes right on this thing I haven't got the internet connection so that's why I'm not getting that so I just stop this and um, get the this Starbucks internet connection going see you in a minute right welcome back I'm now going to get my Wi-Fi connection going so just give that a minute to load and then I'm going to load up the iPad app which is just sitting here waiting um, are we connected? no let's try again go on off you go there I'm online right let's go back to my Xcode and start up the iPad again hopefully it'll get its RSS feed now let's have a look no maybe it just hasn't got it yet um, oh dear. I'll stop that and start it again. This is the truth of it, you know. I'm not giving you a slick. No, right, has it got it yet? No. Right, I'll stop this and for a minute. See you in a minute. Right, so let's have a look at the. There's this um, popover. I must admit, um, I've lost the text underneath because I haven't actually bothered just format it. It probably just needs 12 lines or something like that in there. But I've got the main titles. So let's uh, click on one. Let's choose one at Rat I Adventure. And that's bringing the separate window up. Okay, now if we change the code in the detail view controller, let's have a look at that. If I just um, change that, okay, that's the one that brings it up in its own window and that's the one that brings it up in its own browser and let's run it again right there we go um, Apple brings 1080 let's see what that does and there we are now the thing about this is you can go back see whoops there you go. Well, it's not back is it it just brings up the uh, pop-up window again pop-over window again let's try another one shall we <coughs> I love looking at some of these pages don't you iPhone 4S arrives in China. Let's have a look at that. It's such a lovely display, this um, iPad. And the, the new one, which is more resolution than print, I mean, that's I'm just going to have to buy that. It's um, phenomenal. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought it might be something more interesting than that. But oh! All sorts of things are going on now. All right, then. So, um, I think that's about it. I'll put a blog up to give you a few more details. Um, I'm sure you can work it out yourself. If you use that master detail template, it's got most of what you need in. And then you've got to get um, the, X, the XML parsnip thing. And you can use a dispatch. Did I show you that? Use a dispatcher, otherwise you mess up the display. I got a dispatch somewhere, let's just find it. Dispatch. That is the thing that I put the long... that takes a long time, this thing here, takes a long time to bring it back. Naughty long task I put. So you put it in a dispatcher. That thing there is very important because it means the block of code is in a different thread and it works fantastically well well done Apple for for including such a really handy um, asynchronous thread thing it's just uh, you just need that and that block runs in its own thread not in the UI thread so that's fantastic